Well, hello everybody. Don Conroy here again. And today's drawing, of course, is part of the Eco Explorers Club series. Uh, of course, I'm linked with my team friends from SSC Electricity and Dublin Zoo. And I'm delighted to have your company. Well, today we're talking about a very serious subject, pollution. Nobody likes pollution, whether it's on land or the sea. Now today I'm going to draw would you believe a turtle? This magnificent creature can be seen occasionally in the Irish waters. And this turtle is the largest in the oceans of the world. And it's called a leatherback turtle. So are you ready to draw? Pens and paper ready? Good. So just think of a dome shape or maybe even simpler, like a lemon shape. So we start off by drawing a curve like that. And I'm using a very, very thick marker here just so you can see it. And then I'm going to put a round shape here for the head. And then I'm just going to indicate roughly where the eyes would be like this. And over here they have what looks like their, their beak, their mouth. They don't have teeth. They have a mouth and a throat that is covered with sharp, pointy parts. These help the leatherback turtle to grab onto jellyfish that it catches to eat. Now, so the next thing I do is I draw a line underneath like this, goes right across like that. And then a line there and a line there. These are to indicate the flippers. And it has a little tail as well. Now, as I say, this creature wanders around the oceans of the world. It can be seen in the Irish waters. And not, not only that, the female, when she decides she wants to lay her eggs, she'll go to a very remote place and she'll make sure the sun is not there, so, nor the moon. So she makes sure when it's a very, very moonlit night, moonless night. Amazing. And then she lay her eggs because she doesn't want them stolen. And uh, they're very tasty to predators, unfortunately, the eggs. So you've just got that idea there. And then we'll have a go at drawing this remarkable turtle. So I'll start off by drawing an eye like this. So I'm doing a nice little cartoon eye like that. So the shape is almost like a triangle and then a little circle underneath like that and then what looks like a little black grape for the pupil. And remember I drew a circle, well this is the head, so go around like that up like that and around like that just stop there and then we put in the sort of beak shape like that now guess what they eat they absolutely you're going to say yuck but they love it and you know what it is they love jellyfish yes i knew you'd say yuck but the jellyfish it's great they like jellyfish, isn't it? Because a lot of people don't like jellyfish because they do sting, most of them. But this turtle loves jellyfish. Now that's where the problem is. Because when plastic bags float in the water, guess what they look like? Yes, you've guessed, floating jellyfish. And if the poor old turtle eats them, it blocks their stomach and then they can't eat and sadly some of them can die that way so that's why it's very important that we keep as much plastic all plastic out of the sea if we can possibly do that so see I've drawn that shape and now it's a shape like that and the top here the carapace this section uh, has ridges 
And these ridges are kind of slightly bumpy like that. And another one, uh, just, just the lower part of it. And they have five of these going across the carapace. Nice fancy word, isn't it? Carapace. And I was lucky enough to actually uh, get to go to America with my friend Gabriel uh, with a very rare turtle that was found off the coast of Ireland and we brought it over to America. This was years ago and it was a very rare turtle called a Kemp's Ridley turtle. So that was very exciting. So that's that's roughly how you get the shape right. And just kind of as a bit of a joke here, I'm going to put in a crab. And the crab is not too sure is he friendly or not, but he looks he or she looks friendly, fairly friendly, don't they? So you can add all kinds of little things in yourself. But I'm just putting in these little crabs like that. So you can make your own little sea picture. And that's the fun about drawing. You can add all kinds of shapes and things with it. You put in a little starfish like that. And here, some different plants that grow uh, in the water, in, on the ground, on the floor of the sea floor, and coral and all kinds of other things. Quite amazing. So that's basically the shape very quickly and I don't want boss. Nearly forgot the tail. <laughs> That'll be in trouble. There hangs the tail. Um, so you can take your time doing this. I'm just showing you very quickly how to do this. And I'll put a little bit of uh, colour on it very quickly. And uh, I'll just start off just rather than do the whole thing, I'm just lo lo loosely indicating with a big brush and if you have your markers or whatever colour pencils you use you can use them and take your time now the colour is it has a it's overall black looking but if you see them up close they have this sort of nice uh, yellow ochre colour uh, on their body and then the black goes over that Just put a little bit along there too. And uh, I put a little bit of red around here to show the coral. And a little bit of green there maybe. And of course the crab is a bit orangey looking and a bit brown looking. So a little mixture there very quickly. Maybe add a tiny little bit of blue there as well. And there's all kinds of starfish, but this one I'm going to just do very quickly a sort of bit orangey colour. Common starfish. So there's so much to know and so much to discover in this wonderful world. But uh, as I said, these creatures. Uh, you know, it's challenging enough living in the oceans. The last thing they need is pollution. And especially in the form of little things like plastic bags, you know. So I mean, that's just to give you a quick idea. And now to finish up, I'll put back up the original picture. And uh, I have it here somewhere. <laughs> yes. I get so carried away when I'm trying to get where I put stuff. Now, here we go. And I just, I can see it in this and it's like a different paper. So a quick recap, uh, this lovely turtle has a kind of a beaky shape, their mouth for clamping on, has got uh, this, what's called a carapace, and found in the Irish Sea. How amazing is that? So you can actually say, yes, there's a reptile that comes into the Irish water and it's very big. 
And a lot of people used to mistake this amazing creature for a sea monster. But they're actually, don't worry, they're very safe. They're lovely creatures. And any of the fishermen that see them, and if they get caught in the nets, the fishermen, they make sure to carefully release them back to the wild. Isn't that lovely? So this is, it's been great drawing with you. I hope you enjoy that. And I look forward to your company the next time. And do take care of Mother Nature. So stay safe and stay creative.